Hey guys, it's Absolutely Frosty, and this is the part two of this video series slash playlist slash tutorial. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, so in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to install Freestyler and try to get this little uh, device to work. Um, so if if you have not seen my my previous video, it'll be at the end of this video the the link and also there will be a link in the description to follow the complete guide and um, playlist slash or t tutorial you know whatever so um once you plug in your board you're gonna see this uh this driver this driver windows installer uh little dialog box about this this size or something like that and and that's gonna install the driver for the board um and then the step two would be to download Freestyler DMX, which is what I'm going to be using. But there are other alternatives, uh, such as like QLC Plus and QLC and some other uh, softwares. Um, but today I'm going to be using Freestyler on a Windows, a Windows 8.1 machine over here, and uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. So one thing you're going to need to do is download Freestyler itself. This link will be in the description. Uh, it's freestyler. Dot, it's freestylerdmx.be, uh, and then you'll have to click this green button to download it. And then once that's downloaded, um, you're gonna come up with this type of file, uh, the setup x2.exe. Um, depending on on which version of the software you download, this ch this name might change. So not to worry about that. So I'm just gonna open this up. I'm going to click the run button, and then you're going to see this, click yes. Okay, then you're going to see this box. Um, so, you have to go through this to install uh, Freestyler. Install it in, in, in the directory that you want to install it in. I'm going to install it in to do, 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 program installs. And then freestyler. Okay, cool. And it's gonna take 50 megs, which is not, which is really not that big. Um, I'm gonna choose a full installation, and that is fine. Uh, that is all good. So I, no, I don't need that. Um, this is to reset and overwrite. Um, uh fixture pr profiles and settings um, but I have not installed this yet on this computer so this so the only two things that they need to be uh, checked that I want are desktop icon and a quick launch icon and okay next and then it's gonna give me a summary of what it's gonna do which is fine and then we'll click install and it should start going so while this goes I'm just going to pause the video and come back to you once it's done. Okay, and we're back. And so once um, it is done installing, you will see this completed, uh, the completing the Freestyler setup wizard. And this is, and this means that you are finished. So if you want, you can click this to view the release notes, but I'm not. So I'm just going to uncheck that and click the finish button. So that is done. Now I'm going to go to my start menu. Oops, no, start menu. And type in freestyler and I'm going to find the right one freestyler DMX um, and on my other screen here you're gonna see this little box that's, that's gonna load the freestyler and I have all of these windows that, pop, that have popped up on my secondary screen and I'm trying to move it but it is not letting me so anyway so I'm going to so, so here it wants uh, the the Windows firewall has blocked some features of this app. Uh, just click, just click the allow access button. And it's gonna ask for or not. Um, and then you have to open up Freestyler DMX, and then you will be presented with this little setup box. Um, so right away, you'll be under the interface setup. So I'm gonna select the Entech Open DMX. 
that should be it. FTDI device is going to be this, the one that th this is uh, what the driver showed up as uh, the the device. So I'm just going to click that, and under advanced, that's not. I don't need that. External control. Um, I would probably use my Launchpad Mini if it is supported. Um, but that would be for me to do. So I will probably come back to this another time. Um, there's, a, there's a lot of options here actually. So you can really sync pretty much any MIDI device, I think. Um, it's got a lot of things. Holy cow. Um, <laughs> so anyway, um, enough with this. I'm going to go to preferences, which is the next option, um, which I don't think we need to touch. So let's click the save button, and then we will be presented with this box, the Freestyler X2. Oops. Um, so right now I'm going to try to figure out the software, and then I'll be back to you once I figure it out. And I, I will see if this board works with my with my lights right out right out of the box. Um, so and if it doesn't, I'll, I'll make a third video on the fix. And if and if I don't need to apply this fix, then I probably will not make the video. But I I will put the link to the web page um, of of the fix instructions. And by the way, this this whole guide, this this whole tutorial was made by this guy, um, Stephen Burles, I think that's how you pronounce the name. Um, and full full credits go to him. I'll put the the uh, link to the web page um, in in the description of this video, so you guys can go check him out. There's plenty of cool guides and it's just cool stuff. Um, so anyway, I'll, I will be back once I figure this thing out. Okay, so I figured out s step two of, of what to do with the Freestyler software. Um, you need to go under setup, add or remove fixtures, and then go and find your lights and add them all. Um, if they are not there, there's probably some way to add g um, generic lights. And, oh, look, generic. And then you can probably add the, the channels and uh, whatnot. So I'm going to be using one of my lights, which is the Chauvet VU 1.1, which is the last one over here. I'm going to add it. Um, here it says start at row 1, I guess, DMX Universe 1, um, and enable addressing. Oh, the DMX star address. I need to change this. Um, I believe it is address one actually. So I'm just gonna click the add button and it should be added. And and then I'll I'll let this fixture react to sound when enabled. Yeah, why not? Um and I'll click close and now I'll come back once I figure out how to get this light to output some light if it works. So I'm going to pause the video and come right back. Okay, so I have figured out step two of this for my fixture because um, it's, it's a pretty basic fixture. Uh, there's no gobos, there's no pan and tilt, there's just colors. Um, so if I click it, and then over here I can hover those lamp settings. Um, for, and actually, I'll go there after. There's gobo. So if you have like a moving head or a scanner or something and you have gobos, then you would use this and color, which is what I'm going to be using to get the light to come out. So, if I go here under color, I don't know, I'm going to set it to go to, I don't know, green. Well, right now my light is showing green, and which is a good thing, which means that I don't have to apply the fix, um, which I'm happy for, because if I do it wrong, then I can practically brick the whole board, um, which is not a good thing. Um, so, I'm getting light, and 
I can block out with the toggle block out over here. With block out, and then it, it says block out on on my other screen right now. That's not being recorded, but it says block out on. Uh, and if I take it off, then the light goes back on. Um, for the lamp settings, I can make this thing strobe. So it strobes pretty fast, and then I can do medium, which is a bit slower, and low, which is very slow and then off so it doesn't strobe um and so yeah that's it for my fixture um for the gobo you're going to be presented with this type of little box and this is where you would go and go through your gobos and stuff i'm not familiar with this type of light so i'm not gonna touch all this uh but with with these type of settings i mean um and then you can what's this um fixture macros show all panels here I can create a sequence, which is nice, so I can make like scenes and whatever. Um, Q, which is I imagine to cue the sequence. Programmable override buttons, I don't know what that is yet. Uh, Submasters, sound to light, fogger control, DMX 400, um, toggle blackout, which we already experimented with, toggle favorite, toggle freeze. Master intensity. That's let's see. So here, this is what I'm gonna see. So this, if I lower this, does it fade out my light? It's not doing anything. Oh, I select that all 100%, all 0%. No, fade in. That doesn't seem to be working for some reason. But I will figure it out. Um, and this go button means run command. Um. So to prove that this light is working, I'm going to switch over to my to my camera again and show you guys um, that it's working. So here is proof that my light is shining. Um, it's up there, and this is my whole DJ rig. So if you want to watch the video um, on 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 a demonstration and an explanation of the rig, then click on the video that is on the facade over there and so yeah just click on it if, if you want to watch it and that's that's my light up there and this is going to prove that, it, that that my whole DMX interface is working so I'm going to be a little further away from the camera hopefully you can still hear me but I'll try to talk a bit louder so you guys can hear okay so I'm going back to my computer over here and I'm going to try to change the color to red so let's see that. So color red. And it's red. And there's plenty of different colors that I can go through. And different like co color combinations like color wheels, you can say. Um, very cool stuff. And it's pretty it's pretty uh, responsive, it's pretty fast. Um, uh, I'm gonna take it all red and I'm going to strobe it. So strobe, where are you here? So low, which is really slow strobe. This is a bit faster, which is medium, and high, which is like seizure mode. Um, so that's proving that, that my board is working. So while that light um, strobes like crazy, I'm going to show you that I have my board plugged in over here. And that's plugged into my computer over here that I'm using Freestyler on and it's linked to the DMX cable that's going along here. So that proves to you that it's working. And you can see that there are two LEDs here. Um, there's one for the power, this red one, and there's one green one. That, that means that it's sending out DMX signal. So there you go. I'm probably going to be putting it uh, into this enclosure box that I have showed earlier. Um, while I go over here, what we're going to do in this box. Um, Right now the screws are kind of like halfway in it, but anyway, so it's going to be going to here, the little slot there, and there's a hole here, and I will probably be cutting this hole a bit bigger so I can fit the XLR into it, or the DMX female adapter into there, and then I'll open the USB at this end. So, um, I think that, in that concludes it, um, so I didn't have to apply the fix. So I'm probably not going to make the video 
But if ever I come across to have to use a fix, then I will make the video. And if you guys really, really, really want me to, to demonstrate how to do the fix, then I will do so. But I just will not apply the changes to the board so I do not break it, like I said earlier. So anyway, that is pretty much it of this whole series slash playlist slash I don't know. Um, anyway, um, so thank you once again uh, for watching and thank you to, to Stephen Brills um, for, for um, demonstrating and actually making the guide on, on this, uh, this little cool board. Um, so, you know, it works, it's pretty cool, and I've been always wanting to have a USB to, DM to DMX interface. Uh, that way I can make crazy, like, light shows, you know? So, that's pretty much it, so thank you once again, S Stephen Brills. Um, I, I will be putting the link into the description to his website and to the webpages that, that, uh, that are to build the guide, uh, to, to build this, this circuit. Uh, for the parts and also a link to the to the fix. Uh, there's also a second fix that I have not spoken about, and that's and that's where you lift um, two pins on on the board to let the DMX signal you know, go through. But um, all the links will be in the description. And you know, uh, thank you, Stephen, for making this this possible. Um, so this is a really cool guide. It's awesome. I love it so far. And I'm pretty sure that I, I will always love it. So whatever. Um, uh, so that's pretty much it. So thank you for watching. Um, please comment, like, and subscribe. Um, and let me know if, if, if you manage to create your own board. And you can probably upload, fix, uh, upload pictures or send them to me to, to show me what your light show looks like with, these, with this little uh, USB dongle. Um, so that concludes it. So once again, please comment, like, and subscribe, and have a great day. Thank you.